treasury here with Picture Me Living and I got a guest here, one of my co-workers, Mr. Bryce, you want to give out your social media, etc. <laughs> or not. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, Bryce, you can find me on IG at two nice Bryce, nice in one uh, C. Is that your Instagram? Maybe I'm just so used to seeing it. Too nice, Bryce. Too nice, Are you nice? I try to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the reason why I was like, you're going to be a great podcast guest is because, um, let me just, before we get too deep in this. So, we had like a little uh, conversation about a Brent Fias conversation that he had on the podcast. And then I hung out with y'all and you would not stop talking. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Get that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, now you had a lot to say and you're very opinionated. So let's go. Let's talk. All right. Um, why do you say you get that a lot, though? Because I do. <laughs> I, I talk a lot. I've been okay. talking <laughs> too much my whole life. Uh, my mom can never let me stop talking. People I've been in a relationship with can't give me stop talking. My partners can give me stop talking. <laughs> uh, what is the conversation about, though? Uh, everything. Like, uh, it's not about nonsense. It's about... Uh, a lot of times, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> a lot of times. Most of it is full of nonsense. Okay. <laughs> but, the, but uh, you know, I, I've been told a few times that, you know, it has a lot of matter to it or it's real down to earth. And yeah. I think that just comes from, you know, how I was raised and stuff like that my parents are real open so uh, okay. I'm open too alright then yeah I was like okay he can talk <laughs> so I got icebreakers for first of all we're outside on the rooftop again and we were supposed to do this earlier and I didn't know the temperature was dropping this soon oh, yeah. it was just hot on Sunday sure. So it is a little chilly. We're going to work through it, though. We got some Escalon up here and some Tropical Mix Sprite. So, Icebreaker, what are your favorite aviation movies? Just give me, like, usually I do five and ten seconds, but that's kind of detailed. So. All right. Top number one. It's, I guess you could say it's aviation, but it is actually a rocket movie. Uh, October Sky. It's been my favorite movie what since the hell probably. What the it? it's a... Uh, it's a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal uh, and a number of other people, but it's about these guys that want to build rockets, right? So that was my first aviation movie I ever liked surprise since fourth grade. Uh, of course, you have your Top Gun. You have, um, uh, what is it, Flight 93. It actually stuck out pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, Top Gun 2, loving that one. And I haven't seen that one yet. What? Oh, <laughs> I know. I'm lacking, know. I'm lacking right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Uh, and then fifth, uh, let's go with Denzel. What was it? Uh, flight? Is it a flight? Flight, actually, yeah. Flight. Yeah. Just flight. So let's go with that one. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's why I like to do icebreakers. Cause, <laughs> like, what I think is not, I expected Top Gun, but. Mm -hmm. Wow. So did you like um, Push a 10? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, no, which is which is terrible. everything related to me, but no, nah, yeah. no, nah, I'm, I'm good. So for the listeners, Pushing Ten is actually a movie about air traffic controllers, and that is our job. And unfortunately, none of us like it. But you do see Angelina Jolie movies. Complain about that, <laughs> you know? What I'm, saying? I'm not I think mad it's about probably that. The, some of my Navy coworkers pointed it out to me, so. And that's probably the only movie that you that you see there. That's what she meant, Billy Bob. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's terrible. Yeah, it was a terrible movie though. Yeah, absolutely. So we're straight off that. It's well, it's realistic with the uh, I'll take your wife. Which I mean at this point I'm like, okay, so we're with aviation is like, okay, what are we talking about? But, you <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's as far as our <laughs> social life is concerned, that does happen a lot in our career, but yeah. um, other than that 
I was like, please don't let Bryce say pushing ten. No. Please don't. <laughs> no worries there. I was gonna be I'm like, sorry. you know what? Podcast over. Get out of here. I'm good, on that, one. I'm good on that one. All right. So, um, what are your? Give me five destinations that you dream to travel to, even if you've already been. Number one, Australia. Okay. Gold Coast of Australia, for sure. Uh, Maldives, they're all going to kind of be similar. Uh, I really like the island vibe, but let's go with Australia, Tahiti, Maldives. Gotta see Bora Bora. Yeah. But I'd probably say Morocco. Um, and then, I was thinking of Morocco in February, but I want to go more after. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I definitely want to go to Africa as well. But I think where I wanted to go first, honestly, it was New Zealand. Mm, um, you could do Australia and New Zealand. And I guess I'm telling you, you could get back off each other right there. But uh, they got a mountain out there that I really want to check out. In New Zealand. In New Zealand. I've been watching some Australian shows on um, Netflix, and yep. it really makes me want to go. I mean, as long as you don't get eaten up by, you know, a kangaroo one of the giant things they have out there, which is everything. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> okay, so I'm envious with you about one thing that I've noticed. And when I say envious, I'm not a jealous person at all. Okay. Um, not like a typical female. I'm a, it's a good envious. Mm -hmm. How the fuck do you pull off all these group trips? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was not expecting that one. Um, <laughs> I, um, I've been doing this for years, and bro, let me tell you, I can't do it. <laughs> um, I I've always always liked people. Um, I didn't care what walk, what path, where you came from. I just like energy. Okay. Right. And that's just where I get, that's where I get my energy from, is from other people's energy. And as long as I can have like a group of people mm -hmm. that are, we're all going to do the same thing, right? So we're all going, like every year we do an annual snowboard trip, mm -hmm. which is something that typically people that look like us are not doing, right? Right. So I took it upon myself. It was like, well, this is a perfect opportunity to show people that do look like us mm -hmm. something that we've always been told we shouldn't be doing only mm. because of normalcy. Okay. Right? That's just a cultural acceptance that I don't really sit well with. So, if I'm already privy to something, I'm going to invite whoever, whenever, however, you want to do it. And so, if you say you're down, say, let's go. And so, it's that same that same motive, and I just take it to me where I go, because I can share my experience with anybody. So, you said all that, mm -hmm. and you ain't say nothing different what I try to do, but I still have yet to pull off a big group trip. Well, I love my being around trips. people. When yeah. I do go on a group trip, my soul is happy. Yeah. Um, even if I'm not, even if it's not a party, like I'm just happy to be there. I'm, ha I'm happy everyone signed up for this trip or whatever. Or if I'm hopping on somebody else's trip, I'm happy. But when it's me planning a group trip, people just be like, oh, I ain't got money. <laughs> Oh, every something time. came up every time. every time. But you know, like even the trips that didn't go well, because I've had a number of them that just honestly blew up in my face. Really? I've been stuck with tabs and all kinds of stuff repeatedly, honestly. Mm. Um, and as many of them as failed, I mean, it's probably half the ones that have been successful have failed. Okay. Oh God, and it's just the way it goes. And you um, just keep trying. You stay persistent, but there's such, it becomes a time where you're like, how many dollars can you keep on yeah. shilling out for people yeah. that told you they wanted to come and then they, they, they back they, out? They didn't prioritize it or, I mean, I get, so I, full transparency, I flaked on Bryce's trip. Oh, oh I didn't know we were going to talk about that one. Okay, <laughs> I flaked but yeah. on, so let me be very clear. I have flaked twice in my life. And each time it's broken me because I know what it feels like to be on the other side. But I had a home close and just go wrong. I mean, it just went totally ass backwards. And it was no way that I was going to make that flight mm -hmm. at all. 
And I felt horrible. Like, man, I can't stand what people do me like this. But <laughs> I'm gonna do somebody else like this. And I ended up going on a um, snow trip right after that. Mm -hmm. And um, thought I was making up for it, which I did. It was more so for the group. But they didn't do half the shit that y'all did. Y'all no. can really... Uh, y'all yeah, can really snowboard. Yeah. Ski, like. Yeah, we do this thing. But, you know, and I don't, I've had, you, you're not the first, not the last. People cancel. You know, life happens. Yeah. You know, we're grown, so we understand yeah. that stuff does come up. Some people are uh, just kind of lax in the mind and just like, you know, I'll tell them I'm going, but I don't have any intention on going. Oh, my God. So that's what kills me. Yeah. That, that's a, but but yeah. you, you learn who that is pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And that's where I've been caught kind of being a sucker because mm -hmm. it's like, you continue to invite the same people that continue to cancel Ooh. on you, but you do it because of, you know they're close to you or because y'all had an experience together or whatever. But they flake on you. That's yeah, where you that's have, you the trigger right there. You, you keep keep learn. inviting people that have consistently flaked on oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I had to ask myself, when is it gonna stop? Like. Because you really want to be friends with this person. I've made, well, you know, the, the friendship doesn't have to change over that. Um, in my eyes, uh, the way I see it is, all right, now you've canceled two, three trips. I'll still extend the invite, but I have no intention on believing anything you say, right? So it doesn't so, change, it doesn't change the fact that I'm going to so invite you. So I'm going to stop you there because okay. I just recently, like, had to block a girl out of my life <laughs> that has played on me at least six times. Over, I mean, six is a lot, though. Uh, yeah, over the course of our friendship. And I had to block her for something totally unrelated to a trip. Mm. And it's it's like, Trey, you could you could never depend on her, though. For, like, <laughs> what did you expect? What, what, what did you, you expect? This so this is so, totally unrelated. So, of course, you don't believe what she's saying and what she, the, you know what I mean? Like, her word isn't her bond because, so that's why I said I'm going to have to stop you there because you're going to keep allowing the same person to, you know, you know what? I, I, I'm going to go. That sounds fun. New Zealand, that sounds fun. I want to yeah. see that mountain, too. Yeah. Knowing they got $23 in the account. Yeah. <laughs> you're and, not going. Yeah, knowing you're that you're not fucking going. Like, you're not going you now. want to go. Say that. I want to go. I'll let you know. But do, so that's just a, either you're like me, and that's just a product of the environment that you like to produce for people. Or, or, let's just be honest, that's just silliness or stupidity at that point. Yeah. Because you know this person ain't going to show up for you. Mm. Right? So you got to take that into account. You but, know this person ain't going to show up oh, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I learned that in February. Heavy. So I'm saying, like, if, you, if you see that, if you see that translating, and that's where the friendships or the alliances that you have with these people can, can start getting a little twisted. Mm -hmm. But they can't show up for you in that manner six yeah. times. <laughs> yeah. Six times I left you hanging with it. And hopefully it wasn't keeping you with the bill. But six times, yo, I can't um, trust you for much at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I still went. Yeah, well, Cuba, I didn't still go. And I, I, I was asked out on the plane ticket. And I was like, damn. Mm. But um, mm. Asia, I still went. Toronto, I still went. Mm -hmm. So, but I, so Toronto was actually a great successful group trip yeah. that I managed to get in. And uh, we had a great time. The ladies definitely had a great time. Yeah. Um, it is a matter of money, though, at some point. It's a matter of, and not how much money you make, but how much you prioritize that trip. And you know you know it's coming up. Let me not go to the bar. Exactly. Let me chill out for a second because, you know, these girls in Toronto was arguing over who was going to pay for the next bar tab and shit. I'm like, y'all got it. Y'all want to argue over that? Go ahead. Go ahead. So, yeah, nah, I, I watch your Instagram. I'm like, this dude keep going on these group trips. Keep making it happen. Keep making it happen. When the next ski trips? Uh, January. Uh, I think it was somewhere in the sixteenth. We just did our bids, so somewhere in there, like the third week in January. Probably. Let me know. Uh, yeah, keep me you know. posted on it. I don't know where we're going yet, but uh, yeah, let let me know. Probably well, we Salt Lake yeah. this year. So, probably Salt Lake. 
I would do that. Yeah, we did. Uh, I I we did Lake Tahoe last year. Do. You know, I was I worked in Salt Lake. I'll definitely yeah. go back. Yeah. yeah, I haven't I haven't ever been there, so it's like okay. I haven't been to Tahoe either. Tahoe was gorgeous. And I see people go oh, there. That was. And I'm not gonna lie. I I used to be um, Flagstaff. Arizona. And for, Arizona. And for like three years in a row. Okay. I went once or twice a year. I've only been to Arizona when it's hot as fuck. Oh, Not, it could still be hot, but you know. Yeah, that's how Salt Lake is. It's it's only 10 degrees cooler than Las Vegas. So yeah. keep that as a rule of thumb. Even yeah. when you're going to Vegas in January, if it's negative 20 <laughs> in Utah, it's going to be cold in Vegas. A lot it's of people don't. Cold. Yeah, a lot of people don't think about that. So it'd be hot as fuck in Summertime, but flags, Flagstaff was dope. But I'm telling you, Lake Tahoe that is an amazing view coming down that mountaintop. And you kind of come around, oh, I'm end. not coming down nobody. Mountain oh, top. no, you gotta go you, nah. I mean, <laughs> at least at least take the lift up so you can see the view because mm. you come around that corner. And I'm gonna roll down the hill. Then Damn, old lake I'm gonna get down and slide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scoot down. <laughs> I'm not be in the lodge, take yeah. a drink though, right? Yeah, no, All I'll right. be there. <laughs> I, when y'all do the snowmobile and count me in, I'll I, I will meet you there, for sure, for sure. Give me a little cute uh, onesie <laughs> of Amazon from China. <laughs> take me some pictures on that snowmobile, I'll be back in the road. I'm telling you. I love uh, snow trips though. Yeah. So, what, you, so do your group trips consist of like, um, both sexes, obviously, because yeah. I was going to go mm -hmm. on that trip, and it was definitely women and men, but yep. is that every trip? Is it, like, couples? Is it just, like, free-for-all? Free-for-all. Um, I love that. It's free-for-all. Um, if you want to bring... So, I usually try to do a spot that is... Obviously, get a head count, right? See what you need, um, uh -huh. and then try to get a spot that is going to be accommodating to whatever kind of demographic we got going on. I was more sad that I was missing out on the Airbnb. Oh, it was fine. I know you yeah, saw the pics. Breaking Ridge, yeah. I know you saw the pics, that thing. Was, I didn't, and woo. I didn't expect the money back. You sent me some money back. I, I got was you. like, you know what? I got you. Because when I got flaked on, you're not getting none of this money back. Yeah, yeah. And I got, I got told by so many people, don't send nothing back. But, you know, we were going through COVID. Yeah. We had all kinds of stuff popping up. We even had a COVID scare before we even party you know what i mean so yeah in that so this was what january 2021 that was yep because that's when i bought my house yeah that was two yeah. years ago so yeah, i closed I on the house and bought a house that same day one of the realtors didn't show up yeah. um i didn't, I didn't even think that i was selling the house like i didn't think the people was gone it was it was bad <laughs> i didn't hold it against anybody nah, it was bad for me to flake it's like it's like when there's extenuating circumstances like that, I don't hold it against nobody. And the second trip I played on, I actually had COVID. See? And I felt, and I was, you know, actually depressed. Like, See? nah, like, See? I got the test to go. Mm -hmm. And I had COVID. See? And, that, and that's, like, no one, we're not used to dealing with those kind of situations, like, those kind of situations, period. Yeah. So, if that happens, something like that, I don't mind. Like, yeah, that was two times in 20 I was, I beat myself up so bad, but... <laughs> you should have, because you missed a great time. No, I did. We that looked so... That, woo. that looked so fun. Man, that spot was so fine. I mean, it had bows all the way throughout the house. The whole house was booming. We done set off all kinds of alarms and stuff. Not that we're damaging people's property and like that. Of but course, was, we would never do I'm, that. No, yeah. But, yo, <laughs> I'm talking about... I really forgot about that spot until right now. I, oh, I wanted to go there. I was actually concerned about what room I was going to have. Like, I was invested. Like, Dang, I forgot about that. I've been Ooh. to Denver, but never, you know. I like that. Yeah. I ain't never been like, like that before. That was fun. Just, just on some, you know, hood shit, some black girls. Yeah. And yeah. passing through, because, you know, I had to drive back from mm -hmm. Utah to here. Yeah. But I've never been on, like, vacation there. How long was you out there? Three years. Ooh. Three. Okay. Three. Uh -huh. That's off topic, but yeah, you know. No, I went out there thinking a year, 18 months time. Mm -hmm. Once I found out you got to wait for classes, <laughs> <laughs> I said, excuse me, hardship, excuse me. They, they denied that. No. Had I known it was three years, I probably wouldn't have did it, but I'm thankful I did. So, I mean, it's a learning experience. Yeah. You got to be 
got to see some other stuff. Yeah. That's cool. The drink kicking in? Because it's... It's chilly. My, but oh, it's, it's still chilly? But it's kicking okay. in, though. <laughs> my fingers is warming up. I feel my, my shoulders yeah. rolling back a little right. bit. So how you balance work and travel? Because I do talk about being an air traffic controller on this podcast. Mm -hmm. And I have friends, close friends, upset that I didn't make their wedding. But I'm in Turks and Caicos. Like, but I did this last October. You got engaged in February and got married in May. So I wasn't going to make that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not my problem. If you got engaged in September and told me that, then yeah, I would have did that in October. So how do you balance? Um, How do I balance it? It's, it's really not that bad. Um, balancing it. Yeah, I do obviously what we do on our bids. Um, this year actually has been a really, really low travel year. Uh, we might have only went about four or five places this year. Yeah. But um, it makes it easier uh, with my girlfriend being a flight attendant for, for one. Oh, um, wow. I didn't know that. That helps. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That helps a lot. Oh, um, shit. So that's at the drop of a dime, right? Yeah. You but, can just decide on your days off. Yeah. If she's off, to exactly. just go to Cabo exactly. for no reason. Yeah. But prior to her, um, it got tough. It got real tough, especially with having to buy flights last minute. Uh, we only two days off, and next thing you know, you got to be there and back. So it's that and a lot of miles on the car. Yeah. <laughs> that that was yeah. also a thing that was happening. But I balance it a little different than everybody else does. You know, you schedule your your regular days off for leave, mm -hmm. and then when you have the ability to, something pops up like a festival or something like that that's happening in Chicago or Cancun or Odessa or something like that. I just get the thing going. I um, typically don't do anything last minute with this of paying for the flight. I've said the the flights change everything. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that changes everything. And with mm -hmm. her, with having that ability with her. It makes everything a lot easier. But yeah. like I said, even before, even before I met her, so I was doing the same type of thing. Yeah. Maybe not to the destination that she and I are going to now, <laughs> because yeah. there's a major price gap. But yeah. Yeah. So that's what I was just telling someone the other day. They were like, um, "Who is sponsoring your trips or whatever?" And it's like. I'm going to still do the same thing. Oh, yeah. It's a different, you know, um, I may get a little help with bills here and there, being mm -hmm. in a relationship, but yeah. definitely, and he wasn't a flight attendant, so mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that definitely, you know, if he was a flight attendant, oh, man, yeah. every weekend. Yeah. But yeah. definitely, I'm still going to go. Like, we have a pretty decent career, yeah. so I'm still going to get up and go somewhere. Right. Different dates. You know, like you said, the locations change, but I'm still be somewhere. Exactly. Like we were doing snowboard trips well before. Yeah. That was a thing. We were still doing, you know, popping out to the DR for a weekend or whatever, or Puerto Rico for the weekend. Like we were still doing that, but I mean, we weren't doing Greece and everything like that before mm. that. You know. So she's like, you know, going overseas, like Delta. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. she went to Delta. Okay. Um, but yeah, like. I mean, it's a it's a blessing, and I thank I thank God for it. You know what I'm saying? But we did that prior, and it would continue to happen no yeah. matter what. Yeah, because no that's what you enjoy doing. It's what I it's what yeah. I enjoy doing. So so that's what a lot of people don't understand. Mm -hmm. It's a priority for me. So exactly. it's going to come before some Jordans. It's going to come before a lot of different things because this is what I want to do. Exactly. And I need to do it, so I'm gonna do it. You got the time, you got the freedom to do so. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get it. So I take advantage of I the get lifestyle in my car that I have right now. <laughs> yeah, I get in my car and drive if I have to. Until until life tells me that I can't do this anymore or my priorities change, yeah, this is what it is right now. Right. So. Yeah, if I lost my job, y'all wouldn't see me go nowhere. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'll no. be in the house. I'll be at the house. Wondering how I'm going to come up with their mortgage well, payment. I'm going to be asking will. somebody where can I stay. Can yeah. Free room? Yeah. Please. I'm going to be asking for roommates on Craigslist. Yeah. Um, it's going <laughs> to be a totally different story. However, um, you know, with this job, it offers us a little bit more wiggle room to, you know, it's a stressful job, though. It is. And that's why I also think it's so important to get away. Yeah. Because 
what we think is what is hard to us, right? Um, is I'm sorry, well, I, I said that incorrectly. What people, what's hard to other people, feels like every day to us. And we yeah. just and we just grew numb to it over time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when we feel stressed out, know that it's probably something that is really out of this world or I, just something out of our ballpark. I say that the other. Oh, that's a good perspective. It's out of my ballpark. Yeah. I said that the other day. If I, because we're really, believe it or not, because we have some crazy coworkers, but <laughs> we're really in control with our emotions. So yep. you see me out of my emotions, it's because you took me down. Oh, yeah. It's because this is, so I like that perspective. It's out of my ballpark. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know how to handle this. Right. But two planes coming together with thousands of lives. That, okay, Let's I got go. this. I, got, I handle this. It's nothing. Strap in. Why are you stressed out, actually? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you stressing me out. But see, someone throw a health concern at us, one of our family members, that we're not doctors regularly. Mm, so yeah. So a doctor would be it. like, yo, this is not a big deal. And you would be freaking the hell out mm. <laughs> because you just don't know. it's out of our ball. It's, it's the fear of the that unknown. And so it's all perspective. Yeah. So yeah. Perspective. So anyway, main topic. Mm -hmm. What got us or what got me to realize Christ be talking. And he got an opinion. So Brent Pius did an interview on a million dollars worth of game. And I talked about it on this podcast before. I actually don't listen to podcasts. So um and I started so that I can get better at what I'm doing. But I started listening to a little bitty podcast. Not a million dollars worth of game. They got staff. So they got a whole operation. So it's kinda hard for me, honestly, to learn from that when they got engineers and shit. Mm -hmm. However, they conversation is full of women hate and uh, it's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> it's very entertaining because I, I listened to it on the way home, actually. I saw that interview at work, so I listened to it on the way home. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no. Um, like, uh, can't think of the guy's name. Gilly, I think that's his name. He was like, um, any woman you see traveling some dude done flew her out. And that was on that episode, that Brent episode. I'm in the car yelling at my speakers like, no, that's not what that means. Oh my God. But anyway, so Brent was like, and this would trigger me. He was like, you take a girl out and it's a room full of women and don't know, none of the women like her. So she trash basically. And I'm paraphrasing. Okay. But I didn't agree with it. And you had something to say, so what you had to say? Uh, I forget exactly what I said. Oh man, um, I wish I could pull up my Instagram. Yeah, I'm recording I, this on my phone. I forget. I know we had that conversation, but I forget exactly what I said. But because that office isn't here. You want some? Uh, actually, I'm good right now. Okay. Um, you agree? I. I'm going to remind you, say, you agree. Say the, say the paraphrase, or, or give me exactly what it was. So he basically time. was like, how you know a woman is, you know, you take her somewhere, mm -hmm. and it's other women in the room, and they don't like her. It's how other women embrace her. And if other women don't like her, then, you know. The energy's not there. Yeah, the energy's not there. Uh, so I would say, after hearing that again, I don't know. Oh, it's gonna, oh. Yeah, so you got a, little, got a little stronger there, huh? Did. Yeah, okay, all right. Did. <laughs> Buckle in there. Yeah. Maybe I put a little less Sprite in there. Um, women's interaction with other women. Um, clearly, I'm not a woman. But from okay. my perspective of it, it's energy or vibe, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? I think that's human at, at its basic level. Y'all do something. Okay. Y'all y'all do something um, a little bit different than how guys do it though. Um not all men, I can't speak for everybody, I can't do that broad stroke thing. But for mm -hmm. the for the for the most dudes, we're not gonna see a person walk in and immediately tell them that we don't like them. Mm -hmm. off, of, off of you know, just by first glance. Or because of the tone of the voice, right. or anything like that. But I feel like that triggers y'all, and I feel like confidence 
or personality types um, also trigger y'all um, in different ways than it does men. Um, me, personally. Uh, competition. Yes, yeah, I don't see dudes walking for competition like that. Now, now, have there been times where I, let's say that I'm in a situation where I don't feel as confident as I should, okay. and I see someone walk in and just t- take the show. Well, of course, we're gonna feel like I'm, oh, I'm gonna take the back seat for this guy, maybe a little bit, or you might not feel that way. Are you a Virgo? I am. So September I don't, or August? September. All day. All day. So I don't I Have don't, you heard my opinions on, on Virgo? Oh, let's hear this. Let's hear this. Let's hear this real quick. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You don't get on my Virgo gang. What's up? What's up? We better come. When you that. said how people walk in a room, mm-hmm. I always especially with, you know, charisma and um, over the top personality I think of Virgo but I do think of women Virgos I'm not I'm not gonna lie okay. I do think of women Virgos specifically with trauma when you throw in life trauma with that yeah. I've had a lot of Virgos in my life okay. Just, okay. and um, a lot of us. all yeah <laughs> it's a lot of people fuck during Christmas I don't know why yeah, I, w- I want them thing. to stop actually the shit is annoying but no I've had a lot and um I think that God did it on purpose for me to tap into my intuition, actually, because y'all do have a lot of common. Yeah. Do you hold yourself accountable? I do. Okay. I, do. I, I just seen the look in your face. I do, <laughs> I do man. And, and, and I say that almost painfully. I say it almost painfully because I... You don't like it. I hate the fact that I can't just be like... Toxic. Oh no, I can be no, 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 don't get this fixed. I can be toxic. I can be okay. toxic. I, I've done it before. But I cannot do that consistently. I can't keep that up. It, it, it breaks me down. Mm. It breaks my down. Now, I will say, I have noticed a difference with the male Virgos. You guys do break down and say, damn, I was wrong. Yeah. I mean, mug. Accountability. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey. We, we want to talk about Zodiac But when you said that about walking in the room That's true that's, it, it, it clicked with it the talking And with all that I was like Bryce is a fucking Virgo I am. <laughs> I am I am I am <laughs> yeah. I am can't, I can't hide that one Wow that's crazy I'm great at this actually. But yeah I mean like that's But that's the thing Like I can only speak I can't speak for all Virgos I can't mm-hmm. uh, I can only speak for what's between my two years and that is, I'm gonna be accountable for it. I tried. Good. I've tried to not be accountable at times. I've lied and I've said things that weren't true, just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. But it ain't gonna sit well in my spirit. Yeah, it's gonna eat me alive until I have to just say it. I will say that the few male Virgos that I have met, they do have that same thought process. Like, man, you know what? I don't know if it's a, was it worth it, but it's more so a I gotta honest like yeah, honest. yeah. Mm-hmm. and this isn't this isn't right let me hold myself accountable i was wrong i but. think if it like i think if it like a prison of the mind is, is the term that i've called it since i've done it a few times wow i become a prisoner inside my own head because i'm already over analytical as it is mm-hmm. yeah. so now i gotta interject the fact that i've done something that i know is not right and i'm going doing something not right you know through and through. So what's beautiful about Virgos, over analytical. Yeah. But y'all, y'all not deep thinkers. Oh, which, I don't know. Uh, but well, you're I an air feel, traffic controller, though. Yeah, so that, 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 aspect, that, that aspect. So I did talk about that before. So you have to add in past trauma, like I said, mm-hmm. any type of hurt, any type of grief, your job. So job you know, too, I, close friends with Aaron. He's also a Virgo. So yeah. I, that was one of the male Virgos in my life, mm-hmm. and definitely the job made him calm. The job, the deep thinking, all of that. Yeah, um, yeah I can actually agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you more calculated. Calculated. Methodical. Methodical. There you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely methodical. Yeah. And I think a lot of us are. It's about 50% air traffic controllers, regardless of your zodiac, regardless of how you grew up. Mm-hmm. Methodical or just you know, smart as fuck, good yeah. with numbers. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with numbers, but fast. I am very... <laughs> analytical and methodical so that's what made me great at job 
So back to the Brent bias conversation. Okay. You um, I think that the first thing that threw me off mm -hmm. is we in twenty twenty two, right? So if you're taking a girl somewhere, that means you have already laid down with her. That means y'all in a section, especially this young dude. Y'all already in the section. You introducing her to your friends and stuff. So you done laid down with her. Yes. And you have no idea that her energy is bad. <laughs> That's what threw me off. Like, Brent, what do you say? <laughs> so you fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to let you finish. And then I was so he really is the problem. Like, you done fucked this girl with bad energy. That's your excuse to cut her off. Um... Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Deep thinker, like I said. Like I said. So I think, yeah. Um, if you're already doing all that, if you've already gone in, my boy, it's like it, it was not really on it's not really on. <laughs> okay. So, that accountability. Yeah, here we go. It's gotta be it accountable. It's like how do I don't want to phrase this thing? <laughs> Okay, so if you've already got that far, right? Mm -hmm. Let's hope that you understand who this person is. Let's hope you understand of uh, her, exactly. her, her personality. But let's be honest, in this day and age, you might not. Because the only time he might have ever seen this girl or interacted with her, mm -hmm. might, in might have been in a state that wasn't sober, mm -hmm. might have been in a state that wasn't exclusive. And this is the point where you're so good with her, y'all waiting on the bottles. Mm -hmm. You walk in, none of these bitches like her. And you're like, wow, I really don't like this bitch. For dudes, you gotta take a lot of stuff into account, though. I mean, into, a, into account right here. Yeah, it's, You gotta it's, take a, how she looks, how she how she's dressed. So, so that's so why I didn't looks. like that clip, because we were missing a lot of context. There's a lot of variables that are gonna yeah. play into that, because a lot, of, a lot of girls will hate on somebody just because they feel that they're prettier than them. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like that's what I said, there's a difference in, in So guys we and recently girls. hung out and there was a girl there. Don't mm -hmm. remember her name, but we clicked very well. Mm -hmm. Um very beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. We had conversation in the night she left. I think I followed her on Instagram, she followed me back. Cool. That's typically how my going out goes when I hang out with guys. Mm -hmm. But every now and then Let's just say I'm talking to one of the guys or I'm romantically involved with one of the guys. Okay. Um, a little animosity shows up. Yeah, threat. So I can walk into a place where these guys might have hung out before and these girls might recognize these guys, but they know. It's like female dogs. They know. So you can't judge that girl based off how she walked in the room. First of all, those girls, I'm a homeowner. Um, Mm -hmm. Air trap controller, like I'm on a level that you know might not be over here, exactly. and then I don't hold a conversation with strangers well at all. <laughs> I don't. Do I like <laughs> like yeah. Tim just told me I was mean as hell. I mean, people can. I mean, there's a. Like, I think I told you this in the message. I think I was like, yeah, you can seem standoffish. Yeah. Because it was. I've been. We've been here at the same facility. Oh yes, five years. It's like a minute. I have, yeah, I, I have we had a lot our first of conversation like two years ago. I have a the trip <laughs> for the trip. Well, <laughs> you can't put on me. I know. I'm sorry. That point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, like there's, I don't know. Like there's a lot of variables that you need to go yeah. into with with that Brent Fire statement. So I, he I, was missing some context. There's a lot of context you got to add to that. And but, then when I listened to the interview some more, mm -hmm. he was, um, he admitted he's an introvert and he don't like it when women come over his his house talking and you know over talking him and stepping on him and it's like bro you just say you want an extroverted woman like so he don't know what the fuck he want either so uh there, that's <laughs> it was just a clip people that, that was people entertaining that are, are constantly and as you know with the job we're, we're constantly looking for a, a sense of control i think mm. most most of the population wants a sense of control yeah in everything that they do so when you get someone that has a lot of money, has everything that they have for it that they need at their fingertips, and if they want it more, they can get more. Right. Um, control, I would assume, is 
definitely associated with that. So if someone come in there acting wild, doing something crazy that they don't like, of course they're going to criticize about it. So I'm not here to tell you that Brent Fires is right or wrong, but that's yeah, a different, that's a different somebody to actually person, shared though. it. Somebody shared it to me um, that knows I have good energy. Because mm -hmm. you know, once you get behind those boundaries, I'm actually like a ball of fun. Yeah, you so too, you too. with that being said, this girl has been beyond those boundaries years ago. So she sent that to me, and I was like, Nah, like you don't understand, like. It's a lot of people in this city that think that that's me. Like, that I'm walking into a room and bitches don't like me. Like, I don't like that. He well, said question, it. Well, question, You feel that way. Like, on God. Like, do you feel like when you walk into a room that people would be like, hmm. I'm 50-50. I don't know how. So why is that, though? It's only because Cause like I said, said the, the other night, sis, I'm used to that. Okay. But at the same time, I am used to walking into a room and people be like, oh, she, they tell, they're telling her friend, like, she's standoffish. She, you know, I can't approach her. Because I thought you were standoffish for the first number <laughs> of years that I was even around you. I just had, oh, I just had some shit happen to me where uh, I was kind of bullied a couple weeks ago. I'm not okay. going to say the situation, but this okay. girl spread some gossip that she heard about me, right? Okay. And she was calling herself checking on me with another person, which is gossip. Um, she called me to ask could she park at my house for one music fest. Okay. Am I approachable? You approached me to park at my motherfucking house. No, but you, you were convenient. You I, oh, you were convenient. I was convenient. Okay, thank you. You were you were a means to, that to hurt that, she wanted. that hurts even worse. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a, I mean, if she had all that stuff to say, I mean, I, I didn't heard the whole story. I'm sorry nah, to cut nah, you off, I'm but definitely not gonna tell that just sounds weird. Convenient. But yeah, now nah, you had all that to say behind my back, but you asked to park at my house. I'm clearly approachable. Mm. And I was like, yeah, park in my house. If I'm not here, June gonna be here. If June not gonna be here, I'll move my car. What you need, sis, I got you. None of that came up in the conversation. Mm. So um, I was like, you know what? Mm. I am approachable when it's convenient. So I'm approachable when it's convenient. That's how you feel about yourself? All right, so wait, so what's what's the I truth? How, what's, what's your? I, I asked I don't you, how, feel did, like how do you feel? Man? I feel like when I got down, we have a couple drinks, we best fucking friends. Let's go, let's goddamn tell the city up. Right. I'm telling you my secrets, you so. telling me you love me, goddamn, <laughs> stand in front of me while I pee in the middle of the street. I mean, y'all going crazy. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, right. I'm that bitch. Like, and right. everybody that knows me know that. Like, so, so if if because I think it was the, the issue that was not issue the conversation we were having was extroverts and introverts. It's not that they are only introverts, or you might be a hybrid mix of both. Because I know me speaking as a Virgo, I like my long time, but I also like to be y'all male introvert. Y'all male Virgos are introverts. I've noticed that, and the females are introverts. I can I can attest to that. Yeah. Yeah. But. That's right. so dynamic. I, I think it's beautiful. I, I mean, literally, I, like I told you, I get my energy from other people. Like, mm. if even if it's, a, I've gone to so many things that I'd had no interest in. Mm. I just went just because I want to be around people. Me too. I just, I just want to be around people. I know that the music yeah. is terrible. I know that there's nothing here that yeah. I really am here I to I go look to at. any bar. I hang I'm out. I'm just here. To be around people to be in a vibe or a, inner, a high energy area. So it keeps my brain going. Yeah. You know that's I mean? how, that's the introvert that I am. And then when I'm comfortable around you, I'm gonna let go. I still don't consider myself an introvert. I don't consider it a hybrid either. Cause you can bring somebody, you can bring a stranger over and I'm like, who are you? <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna be rude though, especially if I'm drunk. Like, okay, <laughs> you know, but I'm still gonna be guarded. I'm still gonna have some boundaries. So is that just lower inhibitions or that personality traits? Because that could just be personality that could be traits. alcohol then, at that point. Yeah, personality traits mix with alcohol. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, you got lower than you got to lower the inhibition somehow, yeah. right? <laughs> so yeah, that's that rent bias definitely. Uh, 
brought out the conversation between me and you, for sure. Mm -hmm. As far as like, damn, Bryce can talk. Wait a minute. I need to bring him on. I got a whole lot. I got a whole lot to bring. You did mention something about um, lower aesthetics. We we exchange words about that. So I feel like aesthetics don't mean anything. I feel like your energy is everything. So you could be beautiful, gorgeous. Energy is terrible. You can be less aesthetically pleasing. I don't call nobody ugly. Um, everybody's beautiful. You have to show me something internally that makes me be like, oh, you have some ugly tendencies. Like, Oof. yeah. It's a lot of that. <laughs> you can be aesthetically <laughs> pleasing that. and not be beautiful. Man. So yeah, we did we did agree on that in the yeah. end, for sure. Oh, sir. I mean. Literally, we were just having that conversation on the way before I even come over here. Actually, uh, you seen the show Love is Blind, right? Briefly. All right. They got a new season on Netflix. Y'all should check it out or whatever. But they got a girl. They're not on paying me. Don't be. Oh, my fault. My fault. I'm going to say, I'm saying, y'all need to check Isn't it out. Is it somebody getting divorced from that show? I would imagine that all of them are probably getting okay, divorced. Okay, so give me a like, synopsis. <laughs> <laughs> give me a synopsis. Like, I don't think people are understanding that this is. A, all these shows are experiments like this is to see <laughs> what human traits are happening okay. as time goes along but, I'll, yeah. but i'm not here to, to get into that topic but <laughs> um so there's there, there's a particular person i don't i don't want to spoil nothing but okay so love is blind is you, you talk to do, do i need to explain or do you yeah do you i know that you meet somebody and you don't know what they look like so you're talking to somebody behind a wall Okay. Right, you're dating multiple people for I think it's ten days or something like that. Okay, cool. you're just you're going on numerous dates with all these people. You choose a few people that you want to keep on continuing to see. Okay, and then at the end of the ten days or however long the time span is, you either ask someone to marry you or you mm -hmm. met no one that you want to marry. You walk away. For ten the people days, that, shit. Yeah, so for the people that do meet somebody, mm -hmm. they're proposing to these people through a wall, and they don't see this person until they've already said yes. And I was talking today, and I was like, yo. Because you can see, obviously, from the viewers, mm -hmm. you can see both people who were like, oh, <laughs> man, like, there's no way, like, there's no way she's going to pick yeah. this dude. There's no way this dude's going to pick <laughs> this girl, bro. Like, this is wild. And it was crazy because as soon as one of the particular women that came on the show, mm -hmm. you see her, she's clearly, she's clearly probably the show's favorite. Okay. As far as the aesthetics, as far as the appearance, as far yeah. as what she did for work and everything else, mm -hmm. it, it, she was clearly gonna be the favorite. And I looked at it and I'm just like, yo, that girl's probably terrible. Mm. I made, I said, I said that statement. Literally, I didn't know nothing about the girl. I just looked at her and said, feel her energy. Yeah, that girl's probably gonna be terrible. And as soon as the show kept on going, maybe two episodes in. We just see that terrible trait coming out. That, mm. that like egotistical, like, mm. ugh, like, like all the stuff that people like me and every other guy that's probably ever dated someone of that caliber is like. Ugh. Okay, so it's people that listen to this that are dating. Okay, describe. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't want to do that, but okay. No, you have uh, to. You have to. So you got your run a cliffhanger. You you, you got you got your typical uh, extremely pretty girl. I mean, she has a nice body. She has a nice face. Her, her smile is amazing. She has gorgeous eyes. Okay. Pretty hair. I'm talking about everything. And then you realize exactly what they utilize to get through the fight. What is it? Oh, what is that's it? A problem. And that's the problem. And that's the problem because it's not a, it's not a, it's not a one one shoe fits all. Okay. This is a particular type of person that social media loves to prop up, and that is someone who can get by life off of just their body with nothing else. There's nothing else really formidable about you. Is just your appearance, and I have a slight problem with that. Slight, slight. So. With that being said, okay. do you meet different women 
based off of before the relationship? Did you meet different women based off of that thought process? Like, man, she got it. Oh, I've done it before. Yeah, yeah she got it that. together. And I'm going to just assume she ain't working. Or she got by in life by these looks. She did. Many. Oh, wow. Many, 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 many. And I... And then you, you gotta wow. take a look at, but, but. Do you know how many supervisors have assumed that about me and have made my life very difficult? Really? Very difficult. Now I think in our, and I think the same rules apply, but it's interesting for our line of work because our line of work is. Supervisors don't really mean shit in our line of work. So <laughs> that's saying, really what it is. So let me pick on this say, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, me, let me isolate they make, somebody. They make 15 more cent an hour. So, <laughs> yeah. so they don't really mean shit. So they do make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah. But yeah. even in the Navy, like, let me, you know, let me make an example out of this pretty girl. And it's like, wow, like, yeah. it, it really hasn't stopped. And when I work for a woman, there's a 75% chance that I get treated better. I can imagine that. Yeah. The only time, the 25% is when it's a younger woman that feels I'm a threat. But it's still better than working for It's funny you said that. A black I man. That, I made that same statement. I was like, you're a threat. Yeah. And and, and y'all operate, and that's to my, to my experience, y'all operate on threatening levels a lot. Oh, we which have is to. which is a, which is an emotional bout. I'm you know, gonna be honest. Itself. That's why the black girls are where they are right now because they've had to fight all my life. I had to fight, <laughs> and I, I walked into that because I, I I came from Utah and it was no, it, I was on one. Right. And um, in the Navy, it was just a different culture. So I walked into Atlanta Center and, and it was all these black women, mm -hmm. attractive black women, mm -hmm. and not only that all certified professional controllers that have been here for a minute so they've had to fight yeah and yeah. i can understand the attitude <laughs> i There's, can understand but see that's very that's a very isolated that's a very isolated example what i'm speaking on is that women in general Let's take let's take the isolated area of work. I gotta I, see these women. I gotta man, see these women. I'm talking women. about I'm talking about these women. Like, I mean, I'm talking I about some Instagram badges or whatever. I work I out mean, with some. There's a lot. It's a lot. It's a So we had a um, <laughs> we had we had a little smoke break with the uh, <laughs> vape. Um in the ambulance and roll by. Yeah. But I wanna know the women that you met that got by through life. By their looks, I I really want to know. I need an example. Mm. <laughs> pause, pause, okay. pause. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like that. All right, so we went offline for a second and we had a talk because, you know, that's what we do here. Picture me living. Um, I got the full story, and what I will say is. I get what he's saying. And it was a couple stories actually. So I get what I get where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't go from those stories though, because those women did go to the extreme to mm -hmm. say, you know, this is my body. This what you want. Give me pay all my bills. Yeah. Pay pay for all this shit. Yeah. So <laughs> let me ask you this, because I'm going to be honest. Jessica was supposed to be here tonight. Ah. So, <laughs> Bum. <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> Bum. Do you think that Jessica is going through life? Because she is one of the black girls that was there before. You want some more? Uh, I'm going to go right now. Okay. She one of the black girls that was there before I got there. So, And she's friendly. Yeah. She's way more friendly than me. It's my but pot. she definitely, you know, has some boundaries set up. Um... Do you think that she deserves to be approached with that same energy? Six figure chick, own her own home, paid off car, goddamn. No, dating, but she's lovable as fuck. No, I don't. I don't believe she's be approached with that same energy. But there's a bias here. Number one, I know her extremely well. You gotta that's remove my, that bias. You gotta remove so that if bias. So if I had to remove that bias, still no. 
Because I see how she moves. It, thank you. I see how she carries herself. It's not the type, it's not the same type of energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And even, even she knows my story. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so she don't like, deserve to get... What I put she, her in that same category. women like, though. yeah. But, you gotta think, you're seeing women like Jessica. When you leave the club, y'all pull up to the gas station looking for some Sprite or whatever, because y'all had a few drinks. This girl also pulling out a Sprite, banging body, and you're giving her the perspective of the Brent Fires perspective instead of the Jessica perspective. You're not giving her the chance. That could be a six figure boss shit that could be. is also being could be. misunderstood. But I would say this. I like to think that this is correct. Okay. From my experience, the people that are doing that on their own merit, mm -hmm. on their own clout, on their own hard work, off their own two feet, carry it extremely different than the people that are even provided for. They wear it different. They talk about it differently. When I somebody has, it. when somebody has struggled to get something that they are working hard for. And I ain't talking about just to lock some dude down. Yeah. I'm talking about got that on their own. Yeah. Don't need nobody else for it. I got it on my own. They wear it different. Mm. It's like oh, what's a good example I can use for this? It's like I do walk into a room like I got a mortgage and I can pay it. I would like for you to pay it, but goddamn it, I can pay it. Exactly. So if you can't pay it, you got careers when you sweep me off my feet, I'm gonna still be able to pay my mortgage. I feel like there's a, there's yeah. a more of a. It's an energy that. It's, a, it's, 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 a, it's almost, it goes unsaid yeah. at times. And sometimes they're blatant about it. It's just, they're just right there in your face about it. Yeah. But it's almost like an unsaid energy where it's like, nah, she got that on her own. Yeah. Or let's just be honest, if you really wanna know, just vet the person. If you really want to know that bad, find out. Yeah. Approach this person. Honesty Talk to them. is the best policy. Is literally honesty, honesty, and modesty. I feel the best policy. So this is my recent thing. Why don't guys in the club say, "I'm just trying to fuck"? Why, why do? They? Yeah. Why do guys say? You I know, know what? That do. <laughs> you know what? I almost fell out my chair. But, but I know plenty that do. I'm Ooh. not one of them. I'm not one of them. But y'all know plenty. What? I think that women are ready for that. And even if they don't know they're ready for that, they're going to get ready. So. I don't They're going to so. get ready. They're going to. I think, it, I think, it, I think the world is moving that Everybody got to work. And then the it's, you know, Megan Thee Stallion. Like, you know, cash at me. All this. Like, you know what? We're moving in that direction where are you going to waste my time? Because I got friends that's damn near 40 that want to have kids. So, mm -hmm. are you going to waste my time? Do you just want to fuck because I want a family? And I mean, why it, don't men say that? Why don't men say I just want to fuck? We can, we can cut out so many text messages if you just say, you know what? Hey, this is my name. This is what I'm looking for. You know well, what they taught I mean, us in air traffic control kids, school. Man. They, they taught us in air traffic control school. When you mm -hmm. call somebody, hey, this is me. X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. This is what I want. In the conversation. Just quick, because pilots is calling with shit. So, hey, Jacksonville Center, Atlanta Center, this is what I want. Boom. So, I, I think that is a phenomenal way to go about it. <clears throat> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Because people, I will walk away. people, because people are not, that's not what I want. People are not airplanes, and we are not built in a situation where we can control everything. There are some. And that's more, why women always end up with controllers at our job. And listen, but this is the thing, though. Especially, I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's let's take let's. I'm going to do this first step. Mm. Humans, number one. We're not talking to airplanes no more. We're not talking inside of a okay. uh, 
inside of a, a box anymore. Yeah. Because our a environment dark, a very is much. Dark box. Sa- I say our our environment cold. is in a box. It's cold. It's dark. That's why we're thriving right nobody. now because we're used to this <laughs> air conditioning. Goddamn work. I'm just saying, like this is okay. <laughs> yeah. But take it. Take yourself outside of that situation because that's not. Uh, that's reality for work. Mm. That's not reality for real life. Okay. When you're talking to people. There's so many more variables. These people people want to be lied to. They they want to be well. Some people want to be lied to. I think actually I say everybody wants to be lied to at some point because the truth hurts. Sometimes. So you Virgo in this, okay? I so. am. I'm saying so you got to say so, put me on the course you want me to go to, and I it talk, don't matter I talk what you sign you are. If you just walk up to any person and say, mm-hmm. "Hey, you, this is me. This is what I want," they're going to walk away if that's not what they want. Boom. End of discussion. But as a man, so. okay, because you're right. Because if that's what I want too, you know what? God damn it. Nah, we, curiosity. Let's go. Because the word curiosity yeah, exactly. killed the cat, right? But so some that, people that are wanted. going to walk away though. Oh yeah. Oh you know, you'll, you'll definitely get a lot of and yes or no. Yeah. yeah. Most men are going to be like, I don't want her to walk away. So let me act like I care about her zodiac sign and her birthday. Let me get her something to eat. Like, let me go down. Ask her how, her how old her kid is and when his birthday. Like, I don't want to waste my time. I don't. I What's think up? it's, what I you think doing? it's a matter of this. I think it's a matter of this. When he said no the first time, when you came and you gave him that ultimatum of yes or no, here's what I want, yes or no. And he said no. The answer, so the, the answer okay. was really yes. So the woman has to give the man the ultimatum. No, no. I'm, you, I'm just saying that if you gave that example, you're gay. Okay. So you came up there. And so said, let's create a perfect scenario in the club. All right, well, let's go back. Let's do it. Perfect I'm scenario in the club from the fucking sixties up to now. The man see a fine ass foxy lady mm-hmm. over there with her goddamn hell done, nails done, ass fat, goddamn stomach <laughs> flat, heels on. He walk over there. Yeah. But he know he got a lady at home. He knows he's not ready to settle down before he even know this woman's story. So, what should he walk up to that woman and tell her? Why did I say anything? If he wants it. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm about to say, you. You're such a Virgo. I'm sorry, I got, I got, I, I say, I can't, I can't, I can't un-Virgo you this. Rem- My brain you, works you this way. You remind me of somebody. Okay, so. So I say, why did I say anything at all? I didn't know he had to say anything. <laughs> Because there's been plenty of times I saw someone that was attractive and been like, yeah, that's but it. that's not really what I'm here okay. for. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not here for that. Like, so, I'm here because I just came to have a good time and feel the energy like I told you about. Okay. That's what I'm here for. But if, but so if, the, the if it came to the point where okay. it was like, okay, so there's somebody back home mm-hmm. and this is what's in front of me and mm-hmm. that's what I want. Well, now you're doing a whole battle inside your head of whether you want to leave even what's if happening it's, back home. Even if it's nobody at home, though. Let's just Okay, make single. it simple. Yeah, it simple. single. Uh, right, so I yeah, gave you a few better. examples. Yeah, single, whatever. Okay. But either way, you don't want a relationship with anybody. You just know that in that moment. You ain't got nobody at home. You going. Matter of fact, you know you're going home to an empty bed. And you would rather this foxy lady being a big so with that being said Uh, what do you tell her what do i tell her yeah what do you what do you think that most men would tell her actually i would say i'm gonna be honest if you ask me what i'm gonna say yeah it ain't gonna be much at all until this conversation struck up and then i don't know what you saw the conversation okay i wouldn't even know where i would go with it to be honest i'm gonna use the moment because i'm 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 good on energy but okay. what I would assume most people would say, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna use no lines like that. I mean, that's gonna play it out. But people are gonna say what they need to say. I think if you're talking about the old, not the ultimatums, but the yes or no questions, like, all right, here we go. I'm trying to get you back to the house yeah. right now. Or I just don't understand why more men don't say that. But uh, and my listeners that are single, okay, are why don't also men say that? trying to figure out 
why don't you just say that I just want to get you home tonight? Why because don't you say that? 50% you will be surprised at the outcome. The other 50% I, you might get We are not conditioned. Tonight. I don't think we're conditioned to say that type of stuff. Mm. We're and not. I'm going to ask other people. I'm not putting you on the, the spot. World, I'm going to ask other people. The, we're, we're not conditioned to say that kind of thing. Okay. Right? Now, drunk, lit, <laughs> gassed up, hey, <laughs> you liable to get that, right? But just off top, mm, right. it's going to take a special kind of dude to say that. Mm. It's going to take a different kind of dude, but that, that man is going to reek of confidence on mm. God. He's going to reek of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or he's going to be a total tool. <laughs> my boy's gonna be a I feel like he's gonna be a complete asshole to be honest. Like, I feel like gonna most men dude. need to work on saying it. You would say it's some baby mama trauma. Yeah. You would say it's some money. A lot of shit. Yeah, I, I, I would say because honestly, I know I know some people. But I've seen it go down way too much. I just been like, yeah, I'm just here for this. But <laughs> but I'll be honest. Yeah, the craziest yeah, yeah. part is the craziest part is. It's all of them are older than me. Mm. How and are I you? think it, I'm 34. Right? And they're all older than me by a good amount, at least three, four years. And they've done the relationship shit. And they're tired. Mm. Because, you know, Great like you got you gotta you gotta an aspect about you when you're green, right? Yeah. And it's like You're new. You don't know all the outcomes that can come. Yeah. Right, and you haven't, uh, for lack of a better, for, for lack of a better word, but you, you haven't tasted all the flavors yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, haven't yeah. really seen like what happens if you do X or what happens if you do yeah, Y yeah, yeah. or when you do A or B. You've only done. C, so you're new. So you're right? trying different shit. So you're just trying stuff. Yeah. And you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. But when you get older, and you know when you can look at someone walk through the door. You and know like, that bitch gonna leave like, when you got the girl in the show. To when us, when so. I talk about the girl in the show. You're like. Yeah. Mm, no, I know you're tight. <laughs> no, I know what's happening here. Like, you already ain't know. no questions here. And then 20 your minutes later, you're like, bruh, set. I tried to tell y'all. So this is what Where people is don't it? understand about boundaries. When you on the other side of boundaries, boundaries sound real popular right now. But when you under when you on the other side, it don't feel good. Mm. And from this example, when you on the other side of that boundary from this older man that had been hurt, he done watched this woman leave. His boundary is not telling you the whole truth. Mm -hmm. So it don't feel good. Or to get to the right what he wants. And as women, we just gotta wait. We gotta wait it out, thug it out. I urge women all the time, don't, don't give it up on the first night or the second night or the third night. Just wait a second. I feel like... Wait a damn minute. There's always been this stipulation you know what I mean? Where a man has to make all these sacrifices, and I, I believe that that's that should remain true to some degree. Yeah. Because it, it's part of our nature to do that. Yeah. It's kind of wired into us. But I feel like women miss out on so many opportunities. There's so many people by not saying anything or showing interest and trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. And trying to do the reject thing because he didn't say it the right way. And I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna piggyback off of that and say, I think that's why people don't walk up and just be like, I'm just trying to take you home right now. Mm. Because 99% of y'all would say, nah. Y'all right. say y'all want that, but nah. y'all say y'all want a You're lot right. of things. <laughs> and y'all right. don't. You're right. You feel me? So that that doesn't that doesn't really sit well. I think with my perspective that. is coming from why you why you're approaching me, right? Yeah. Because if you just tell me why, go away. But if I see a guy I want to approach, oh, he, I mean, I'm an air traffic control. Control. Sir, what you doing later? That is a. Hello. It's a very, that's a very. Very direct. <laughs> that's a very unique personality type, though. Yeah, very direct. Right? So yeah. it's like, okay. Yeah, so you might I'm, be able to do that. I'm speaking for the women that are asking the men, mm -hmm. why are you approaching me? Why are you approaching me? I didn't see you. You saw me. 
what's up? What you want? You got a wife on? You going to a baby shower tomorrow? It's yours? Tell me. <laughs> I need I need to know all the information. I need the answers right now. Yeah. Because I'm not trying to waste my time. Yeah. I say ask the answer, ask the questions. And if you get answers you need. Okay, we I'm gonna come over to check this. Know. Yeah, I'm gonna come over to You know. But I don't. I say. I say. With a club I, say, checklist. I say please stay from checklists. Mm -hmm. I say please stay from checklists. I don't. I'm gonna come up with one. I don't. Ooh, I hate checklists. I hate them. At the club, I, I think they're good for efficiency. I went work. out one night but with my people. home girl that likes to date, okay. and it was like speed dating without speed dating. Okay. It was like once the dude was done talking to us, the next round of dude came around. I was like, whoa. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> this but, a lot. This yeah, this a lot is a lot. Okay, I got two dogs. I got a kid. Like, it was just like a lot. But I'm trying to enjoy my. I'm still dancing to the like R&B at the club. Like, what the fuck? And then the third round of dudes came around. It was like they were waiting their turn. So it's like, you know what? Let me, you know what? Do you just want to fuck me? Be honest. Go away. That's what you doing tonight? Like? You just want to, okay, go away. But you can assume, but so the question, the question of, I, a, okay, oh. so I have a, I have a, I have a question. <laughs> okay. I actually have a question. Okay. Why is this question about, do you want to fuck? Is all you want to do is fuck? Why is that really the question? Right? Because I feel like that's, that's the obvious. If he's approaching you, so, yes. we all know that's what it is. Mm, you're such a Virgo. We all know oh, what it is. So why do, why do, I why didn't do women, know that until you said Why do that? women always just oh, hone in on this do you want to fuck you know i want that's what you know what i'm here for okay like you know that like why are we pretending <laughs> like that's not it's like i'm a man there's something mm. swinging to my legs and you don't have that so i'm i'm here for that <laughs> okay oh, okay but i'm trying to figure mm. out a way to make you want to be able to do that and too. that's why because i'm standoffish 50 other one of me and in here. That's why <laughs> I'm staying off it. But see, I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't mm. get it. There's so many and this is why I said this is exactly Because you said. have to as a woman, I'm gonna be there. honest, I'm gonna agree with you. You have to assume every man wants to have sex with you. You can make it. Uh, uh, any in the woman, club, any absolutely. Any woman in this on this in, in the this club, planet. absolutely. What uh, do you think he wanted from you? He didn't want no family. He got a family. Not home. at that point. Yeah, he got he a family. He didn't know you. He don't know your name. <laughs> he could possibly have a whole fam family at home. He, he, didn't, could. he didn't want that from you. He could. He doesn't he know you. Pussy. So don't act like he's supposed to want the world nah. from you right now. Because honestly, you, know what? you don't deserve that from him yet. I've never had sex with a dude from the club. And That's I true. party. That's and true. I have party. Right. So I have fucking party. But I'm telling you. And I've known some friends that have fucked several dudes from the club. But listen, of let me course. tell you. Goddamn lucky if you buck, come on. I'm lucky if you buck. <laughs> I'm doing all the goddamn dance routines. Yeah, yeah. But this dude walk up to me. I'm standoffish. Mm -hmm. I don't like you. I don't like you. Because I always assume every guy wants to have sex. But, but that no, is, you just but, said that. But, you uh, just no, said but no, that. But no, no, I'm about to agree with you. I'm about to agree with you. <laughs> but what, but what, what's the problem with this? There's no, there's no denying so, that. What? I go so to the, the club, problem? and I should expect that. You I've say, been told that I'm in a relationship. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to so tell you something else. I want to understand. I, I don't know why you're util only utilizing this club uh, example. Oh, uh, because I be That out. is everywhere. Mm. When I that go is to, everywhere you when go. When I go that to the DR, they be station. like, Bonita. That's it, if you go, exactly. And they be like, Noche. And they everywhere. do the little dance move. And I be like, sir, everywhere. I know what it means. I, I understand this. And, and, I don't, and this when you insane. go to Latin countries, when you go with your girl, I want you to pay attention. If she go out by herself or whatever, the women won't like her. Automatically. So that's why tie back into this Brent Fayez. Literally any Latin fucking country, I don't know if I said club, but any Latin country, the women are not going to like the women from America. Period. What areas? DR. I mean, okay. do I need to pull up pictures? DR, uh, Cartagena, um, any lighter skin Latin country. Okay, Puerto so, Rico. So, um, so only men were friendly to me. There's two um, things that I can say to that. I can attest to that.
you're exactly right. But that demographic difference lies between because they want they want y'all to wipe them up. Else. Not only that, not only that, it's there's a there's a there's a divide. Mm -hmm. No different than how it is in America. Let's be honest, because we oh, can we wow. can call about yeah. we can say this about Latin yeah. countries, but this is America too. Yeah. Light. If we're gonna go with this, colorism. It, it's, it's it's white is right, right. Colorism. So the closer you can get to white, the more right it is. And so I, they made it that the brown skin girls that, look good as fuck. Oh no, there's a there's a whole this whole financial differential here. You make more money as a light skinned mm -hmm. Latina as opposed to being a dark skinned Latina. You know what? We're gonna, we gonna have to open this up to another travel episode. Oh God. Yeah. But let's be honest. You're more socially accepted in America as being a mixed, light-skinned black person oh as opposed to being full, full, full on black. So it doesn't change. Am People I though? Once, uh, uh, we'll talk you tell about me. That. I say, we'll say that might be another. That might we'll be another topic. That. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if if you're talking about going to Latin countries and everything else, and how, and how there's a difference, you can differentiate between them. It, it's the same concept. It's just used different. You're just in a yeah. different. You're in a foreign country now, so you don't understand yeah. their reasoning behind it. I don't. I just get but drunk all, and I dance with their men. My point. My point. <laughs> my point. It's the same thing here. We go mm. do the same thing here. It's I don't always, dance with people, men here. Like. No, that's about here. <laughs> you might know I'm someone respectful. might know someone might know. But the women are worse. The women are worse there. But yeah. Plus, you're taking away from money because you you mentioned countries that are high high countries. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So you're right. they might see the threat as money. I ain't right? even think about that. They're trying to eat tonight. Yeah. yeah. Don't grab no man. Hey, bitch, you can still have it because <laughs> I ain't about to give it to him. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> What's your number? I'm gonna make sure you text you tonight. Oh man. So yeah, we up here cold. Um, this is a. Uh, this has been great. Mm -hmm. Bryce is gonna be back. I clearly, I can, I can talk, man. I can talk. All right. Thank y'all for listening. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>